Okay, you won't believe this news. China is now urging its own companies to avoid Nvidia's GPU cards. This is a big news out of China. The government there is now urging its leading tech companies including Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu, ByteDance and few others to avoid buying Nvidia's new H20 GPU cards. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video I am going to explain in very simple yet technical words as what exactly this news means for the AI world because most of the open source top leading models are coming out of China. So this could be a far far reaching impact news here. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. So what is happening here? The thing is that the H20 while technically allowed for export under US rules is seen as a crippled version of Nvidia's flagship H100 cards. For China, buying a watered down chip doesn't just mean weaker AI performance, it also risks slowing down their entire ambition to lead in artificial intelligence and I believe that is where everything is sprouting from. Let's dive into this story to see why China is avoiding the H20, what makes the chip different from Nvidia's global products and how this decision could reshape the future of AI computing. To understand this, let's rewind a little. Back in 2022, the US government imposed strict export controls on advanced chips going to China. That included Nvidia's A100 and H100 GPUs which are the engines behind today's AI boom. These chips are what power systems around the globe which are running on AI and even the large scale data center which are servicing this and of course there are self-driving cars. For China's tech giants, losing access to those GPUs was a massive blow. They were suddenly cut off from the most powerful AI infrastructure in the world. Nvidia's response was clever. Instead of abandoning China and its huge market, they designed special versions of their chips, first the A800 and more recently the H20. These chips are built on the same advanced architecture but they have been deliberately restricted in performance to comply with US export rules. But here is a twist and a big one. Instead of embracing the H20 as a compromise, China is telling its own companies don't rely on it. The official reasoning is twofold and you can check out details in this Al Jazeera's article and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So do check it out. It's very interesting read by the way. And then uh, if you go to social media, you'll be surprised how much is happening in you know on the back of this news. The H20 doesn't deliver the same level of performance as Nvidia's global GPUs that is China's whinge about it which is correct. Also relying on cut down chips could leave Chinese companies permanent, permanently behind in the AI race. Now if you look at Alibaba's coin models, DeepSeek models, GLM models, we don't really see that they are lagging behind. I don't know where they are getting their chips or if they are using the same chips or if they have found some sort of trickery but they are doing wonderfully well. And that is where we get to the heart of the story that how much weaker is the H20 compared to Nvidia's global GPUs and what are the alternatives China is pursuing. Look at this table. What this table shows us is that while the H20 shares the same hopper architecture as the H100, it's not the same beast. The biggest difference is in memory bandwidth and interconnects. The H100 has full NVLink support, meaning GPUs can talk to each other at incredible speeds, crucial for training massive AI model. The H20 either has limited NVLink or none at all, which makes scaling across many GPUs much, much slower. And for training big models, that's a real hindrance. On paper, the H20 even has slightly more memory, like 96 GB versus 80 GB, but memory speed and throughput are much weaker which is a make or break deal by the way. That means Chinese companies can load large models but they will hit bottlenecks when training them or fine tuning them or distilling them. So essentially the H20 is powerful but when compared to H100 it is like running a sports car with a brakes 
half on. Look at this table. This table dives deeper into the H20 score specs. It's clear. NVIDIA designed this chip to look good on paper. 96 GB of memory, hopper architecture, PCIe Gen 5 support, but in practice, the restrictions on interconnect and bandwidth are what make it weaker. Training a massive AI model isn't just about having raw compute, it's about being able to connect thousands of GPUs and let them share data instantly. That's where the H20 stumbles and why Chinese companies are wary of depending on it. So if Chinese firms are being told to avoid the H20, what's the alternative there? This is where local players like Huawei come in. Huawei's Ascend 9 10 billion is already being promoted as a domestic alternative with performance that rivals the A100 in certain benchmarks. Meanwhile, Alibaba's T-Head and Baidu's Gunland uh, chips are also advancing and we have covered all of them on the channel if you're interested. By pushing companies away from the H20, China is essentially saying don't settle for compromised foreign chips, double down on local innovation and that is where we all know our hopes are pinned down because we really want some cheap, accessible GPU cards, doesn't matter where they come from, so that we could run all of our AI models, AI tooling and agents locally without selling a kidney. Now, for NVIDIA, the H20 is a way to keep a foothold in the Chinese market. But if major buyers like Alibaba and Tencent stop purchasing it, that strategy could backfire. NVIDIA risks losing not just chip sales, but long-term relationships. For China, reject rejecting the H20 is a gamble. In the short term, their companies may struggle and they will struggle with less powerful hardware, but in the long run, it could accelerate the growth of their domestic chip ecosystem, making them less dependent on the US altogether. Because look, AI is here to stay. It's a long game. We don't have to you know, produce something tomorrow. It can wait. But I'm more than sure that is going to happen, if not from China, some other part of the world, that NVIDIA's monopoly will be broken. And for the rest of the world, the story of H20 is more than just a chip release. It's a reminder that AI is no longer just about algorithm or data. It's about geopolitics, supply chain, and national strategy. The real race isn't just who has the best models. It's who controls the silicon they run on. I also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent. iGent is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. So that's it. Please share, share your thoughts in the comments and like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.